everyone, welcome to another video. Today we'll give you a tour of our new chicken coop and we'll be talking about a basic chicken care. Let's go! Okay guys, so this is our new chicken coop. But before I give you a tour, let me show you a place where the chickens were previously living in. Okay, so behind me there is a structure that the previous owners were using to keep chickens. And we basically followed the lead. We always needed to bend to get into that second chamber. So yeah, bye bye old chicken coop. We will use this structure to construct a water tank for the rainwater. Okay, so behind me you can see two roosts, one here and one over here. Okay, so what we've decided to do is to take branches, peel them from the tree bark and also uh, sand off um, the rough edges uh, so that there are no splinters and that it can't hurt our chickens. And the reason we've decided to go for branches is that um, those chickens are already used to being on a rounded um, roost. Plus, uh, if we were to take those wood pieces, I know that it's popular for people to buy two inch by two inch, like a square uh, piece of wood, or two inch by four inch wide. Uh, we would need to round off the corners because chickens don't like the square edges. So it would actually cost us more to do so. So that's why uh, we decided to do the branches. The reason why people decide to uh, put like a wider sort of um, flat surface area in case of two by fours is that when winter comes, the chickens can sit on a flat surface and they can cover their feet with feathers uh, so that they don't get frostbite. In our case, that's not a problem and that's why we decided to use those beautiful uh, branches. As you probably know, the chickens need a place where they can bath in like um, dry soil or sand uh, so they can remove all the dirt and oils um, from it. And also, this is the first place they would get rid of uh, those external parasites like lice and mites. And the reason why we've decided to put a dust bath inside the chicken coop is that we don't have an extended roof outside the chicken coop so that this box can stay dry. In the future, we will put the roofing and we will likely put um, a box outside. And I think also in the summer, we could also put the box outside because it hardly rains. But as we are already uh, in the middle of winter, uh, it's better to leave the dust bath for chickens inside. What we have inside the dust bath is sand, wood ashes and diatomaceous earth. Okay, so this is uh, diatomaceous earth. Um, it's actually a French brand, so I will leave some links in the description below in case you're interested. And this is made out of uh, silica, so it has really sharp edges, um, even as a molecule. And whenever chickens touch it, it doesn't hurt the chicken's skin. Uh, if you buy a food-graded diatomaceous earth, it's super important. Um, so if it touches the chicken skin or feathers or whatever, um, the bags that are on them will be killed pretty, pretty easily. So it's super addition to a dust bath, in my opinion. I also sprinkle some diatomaceous earth on chicken floor, tiny, tiny little bit on the roost and just spread it also on those beautiful ladders that we constructed. And also I put some diatomaceous earth on uh, nesting boxes. And we also add diatomaceous earth to chicken's feed because it is a natural dewormer. However, in order to do so, it's super important to buy food-grade diatomaceous earth, the one that you would be able to consume yourself. Okay, chicken nests are pretty simple. All we've done, uh, we took like an old piece of furniture that was inside the house and we repurposed it because we, was, we were going to get rid of that anyway. Uh, we didn't do anything to it, we just hang it uh, on the stone wall 
and that's it. Uh, inside those nests, I sprinkled, apart from diatomaceous earth, I added some herbs. And those herbs help to deter uh, insects and those external parasites. And I put their uh, marigold flowers, rosemary, marjoram, and uh, thyme, I think basil. Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, so this is also the reason there are so beautiful plants hanging in here. This is not for decorative purposes. This is to help chickens breathe. Uh, better as these herbs really help with chicken's respiratory system. So we have hanging in here um, bay leaf, rosemary, uh, marigolds and sage, but you could add different types and more of them. I think I went too crazy. Um, if you don't have, for example, that many herbs in your backyard, even like a small bunch, like a really small bunch, uh, just one would already help your chickens a lot. So the reason why I did that is that I came across a magnificent blog written by Lisa Steele because I wanted to make sure that chickens this winter stay as healthy as possible and I was thinking about adding some herbs to their diet and I started doing research. So Lisa recommends uh, to add some herbs, the majority of them, to chicken's diet but she also recommends to hang them in the chicken coop so that it smells lovely and I can tell you it just so refreshing to come to the chicken coop. Uh, I will be using this for um, all the places where we will be keeping animals. For now we have only chickens, but in the future we want to have ducks and goats, so I'm already excited about that. And yeah, smells so lovely. They help with chickens' respiratory system's health and they also help to repel those insects. So Lisa recommends to spread them on the chicken floor, uh, I mean on the floor, and uh, she also recommends to add them to uh, nesting boxes uh, because some of those herbs have calming effect on chickens, especially lavender. I don't have lavender growing here, but next year it is definitely a must. Also, I added some herbs to chicken buff and what's in there is, of course, rosemary. Um, there is also a dill, which is an insecticide. Uh, there is also sage and you could also add mint uh, to it. So yeah, I will leave the link uh, to Lisa's blog uh, in my description so you can read more. So now I will show you how we create our chicken feed uh, mix ourselves. Okay, one more thing uh, with chicken's feed uh, that I need to mention is that they need to eat on a regular basis grit. Grit is crushed oyster shells and their edges are really rough, but chickens need that to be able to fully digest uh, the food that you're giving them, for example, the grains and especially the corn. And it also gives them calcium needed to produce those beautiful eggs. And we keep it inside uh, the chicken coop um, so they can uh, take it whenever they feel uh, there is a need to do so. And otherwise, the food containers, as you saw, are outside the chicken coop. So uh, we keep basically rodents out of the chicken coop and, um, you know, so it doesn't get uh, messy.
you know about food, now we can talk about water. Water is very simple, obviously you need to change it very often because chickens need fresh water on a daily basis, it cannot get dirty and it basically needs to be clean all the time. If you want to boost water with some amazing additives, keep watching. Okay, so what I'm doing is that, as recommended by Lisa Steele, I'm adding a crushed uh, garlic cloth to their water. Uh, chickens can eat garlic, so you can also mix uh, chopped garlic to their feed, but you can also uh, give them a crushed garlic to their water, just like that. Um, simple as that. And it will already uh, give water some antibacterial uh, qualities. Another thing you can do uh, with water, you can add some apple cider vinegar. It really boosts uh, the chicken's immune system and it helps to fight with those internal parasites. I think the recommended dose is one tablespoon per gallon of water. So here I will just add uh, a little bit, just like that. So yeah, uh, in addition to herbs, um, yeah, this is a great weapon against those uh, parasites. If you want to get even more fancy, uh, you could uh, make special herbal teas for chickens and add it to chicken water. So yeah, that's all about water. If you're new to raising chickens, I highly recommend you to read a book uh, called Becky's Guide to raising backyard chickens. So Becky has a YouTube channel called Becky's Homestead and you know she's ha she has a huge following and she gives marvelous advice when it comes to raising chickens and in this book I got to know some interesting facts I wasn't previously aware of and um, you know we've only started the homestead a year ago and whilst I am certified to do um, self-sufficient edible landscapes uh, I am new to um, raising animals so um, as everyone when starting I needed some guide and I highly recommend this book to you the link uh, to the book so you can check out the price uh, will be in the description of this video all right that's it for this video I hope you got a ton of useful information out of it if you got value uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel to not miss any future content. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.